Let me introduce you to the Texas A&M University's Women in Engineering AUV Project Team, BRIEF, which stands for Robotic Engineering Aggie Females. Our team consists of over 20 members from various engineering disciplines, and our goal is to provide the women in the College of Engineering with the opportunity to develop both engineering and leadership skills. This is our second year to compete, and we are excited to apply our knowledge and experience from last year's competition to design and build a more efficient AUV. The team is divided into three focus groups, namely mechanical, electrical, and programming. The mechanical team has been working on constructing the AUV from scratch. The vehicle frame is made of steel electrical conduit which connects to a 12-inch diameter pipe through two interlocking aluminum rings. In order to seal off the pipe, a 1/8 inch thick Lexan dome is glued to the front of the hub and a 6061 aluminum bore seal end cap encloses the remaining side. The vehicle has a total of 8 thrusters. Two are located on each side of the frame facing to the front for forward thrust, while the remaining are placed on each corner of the vehicle facing up at a 20 degree angle from the vertical line for upward thrust. An aluminum rectangular prism is situated on the interior of the hull to house the electrical components. The vehicle is powered by a total of 4 LiPo batteries. A voltage regulator and block terminals are used to distribute power from two LiPo batteries evenly among the eight thrusters. The other two LiPo batteries power the remaining electrical components of the vehicle. We have used an ATX which provides steady voltage rails and a custom PCB to distribute power to the servos, sensors, cameras and the Intel NUC which is the vehicle's main processor. This is a major upgrade from our last year's Raspberry Pis. The NUC receives the camera feed and attitude and heading reference data. The NUC then communicates with an Arduino Mega, which controls the servos and the thrusters. The AUV software uses OpenCV functions to detect objects and creates a depth map using stereo vision. We further determine thruster control using the object's location and attitude and heading reference data. This year, we have tried to make our vehicle smarter by implementing common filters. We have thoroughly enjoyed working together to design, build, and program our vehicle. We are looking forward to competing at the 2017 AUVSI RoboSub competition.